Hi Taurus, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, thanks to all of you for all the support. I appreciate y'all and we're always connected here. If you're new, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't fit, just come back in a couple of days. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are a different style every week, and if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Taurus? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Taurus need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all concerned with Taurus? Messages for Taurus, please. All right, we are going to start here with the tarot, and then we'll have the angel answers. All right, we've got the five of pentacles, the fool, might be time for a new transition, the three of swords and the six of wands. It was interesting, 78 cards, we just pulled the seven of wands right after that six. Sorry about the organization here, this thing is a little lumpy. We've got the Four of Swords after the Three. That's also interesting. The Nine of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. Well, I do feel like you have a choice to make here. Um, you're going to be moving on with something here. But with the Fool, the Two of Pentacles and that Six of Wands, it's going to be a change for the better. I do feel like it's bittersweet, though. Those of you that are leaving a job or you've had a breakup, I feel like you're going to be getting a lot of attention. And honestly, if you had a breakup, I feel like you have somebody new coming in. Um, and I say that with a little hesitation because I feel like somebody's here for reconciliation. But I'm telling you, embrace that full energy. You know what? There's 7 billion people here. If they could walk away from you, you don't need them. They're not worth waiting for. No offense. But, I mean, you've got everything you need. And you, you, with this five of pentacles, you have, let's see, just the one five here. But it's changed. But it is difficult. All right? I feel like they keep saying old habits die hard especially if you've been in this on again, off again thing that you've been wanting to change into something more and it just hasn't done it. I don't see that happening. I feel like you need this, um, your freedom from bondage, something with the eight of swords kind of energy. But with this five of pentacles, you're not alone. All right. So those of you too, if you're in a good relationship and you're saying, oh, it's actually a job that's been, <sighs> seems like it's almost taking the 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 gift of the soul it's like this almost I see like a um when you put a candle um snifter or whatever it's called to put a candle out that sort of energy where it just puts out the flicker if it's a job you may have people behind or in that job that you like and there's something about it like I even get a convenience factor like it's very close to where you live or something like that but I feel like you're still going to move on because there's just not enough to keep you there this too is knocking the door will open, all right? So there may be some kind of a separation going on here, but it's time. It's your time to move on. We never halt our own spiritual development for others to catch up, including institutions and environments. If they're not a match, the universe will find a way to exit us. Now, if somebody here got fired too, I do want to address that because I'm getting that too. I feel like what you end up doing is going to take you in a new direction but it's going to be a change for the better, all right? Even if you got canned, it doesn't matter. Like I said, I still get this feeling of somebody being rejected, but it was really because your heart's desire was asking for something new. So with the energy of the full, this is the beginner's mind, and you take a leap of faith here, okay? You kind of go forward based on faith, even if it's stung a bit to do this. And with that six of wands, you're not going to turn back. I feel like, too, you're going to have multiple offers. You're going to have new doors opening on this path. It's a path that was meant to be for you. And so I love the fool. It's a, You stand in the field of pure potentiality here. Anything is possible in this energy. It's a vision quest. And so you know where you've been. You've had the painful experience, but you're turning that into wisdom. You're turning that into this little bag is of experiences, but that holds a fool's toolkit, all right? That you you earned those through those past experiences. And so with this energy, you've released all the resistance. You've got, you've got wisdom on your side, 
but you've also got adventure saying, you know what, I can't change that. Somebody here, you've got some acceptance going on saying, I can't change the past. It is what it is, but I'm not going to waste the rest of my time here living there. And so with this, I do feel like somebody has a bit of a renewal, kind of reinventing yourself in a way that's going to be really bold and powerful and empowering with this. So I do feel like you're going to attract people to you, new situations to you. And with this too, it, it's like a fearlessness. Like I said, there's this energy of ready to, to just jump in. It's a big transition. The Fool shows up to tell you there is a transition coming, but also too to remind you that your soul is always victorious. That's why we're here. We're here to expand in this earth school. And there's been times too, because I still get this, somebody had a bit of a gut punch, that I look at things and I think of it as a trainer who designs a workout each situation. And I think, in this earth gym, what in the hell, what trainer designed that workout? I don't want to go through that one again. You're going to be free with this, okay? You're standing in the sunlight of the spirit. So here's the gut punch, the three of swords. Again, you parted ways with something, and I don't feel like it was totally expected. I feel like with this, it was a challenging ending. For some of you, you may have encountered a relationship, like I said, that was either on again, off again, and you found out there was more than one person. And I get somebody doing some pretty major deep dives into social media stalking, trying to figure this out. Look, it's it's like gaslighting, all right? Somebody is not telling you the full damn story, and they know, they knew damn well that it wasn't what you wanted. I get this very loud and clear, like I get a seven of swords associated with this. And so, again, with this Three of Swords, it's time to leave it in the past. It's a There's an acceptance factor to this. The Three Swords are aligned perfectly to indicate that ultimately it's all, the freedom is in your acceptance. And so I do feel like with this, it's going to be time for a, a, a time to grow and to develop. And and also, too, I feel like because of this, and, and whether it's a job or a relationship, the communication is going to be much more, it's going to be much clearer. And I feel like it's in part because you're going to set this tone for that. You're going to expect it. And in some cases, you might even demand it if it's a job, you know. So I do feel like you move on into something new. You're going to be getting a lot of attention, too. And if it was a relationship, there may be somebody waiting in the wings. I get this, honestly, the Seven of Wands. They're, they've been waiting for this. I feel like they didn't think that was good enough for you anyway. And so I feel like you have somebody coming in who really wants to move heaven and earth with this with this union. They want to have a, a beginning with you. I feel like, too, with the Six of Wands and that Fool energy, there's uh, a new energy that comes in, somebody who, who cares about you, who's interested in you, but who also wants to see you win. So if you were in the in the past relationship or even a job, too, if you were putting something off, like you've been wanting to start your own YouTube channel or TikTok videos or even write a book, first thing I got was write a book, and you didn't do it because of jealousy or being concerned how that would impact the relationship, um, I feel like with this, hell, you might even write a book about your old job if it was crazy enough. But I get with this, the people around you want to see you win. They want to see you thriving. And so with this, it's a victory, success, Whatever you're moving into, it does create a little bit of a smugness. Like, well, if you didn't want this, look all these others do. So I do feel like there's sort of a, and I almost, I have to laugh at that because there is a little bit of a smugness. Seven of Wands says you're going to be on top. You might have some little hiccups along the way, but this is not a big deal. This is alignment. It's like telling you that any challenges that you encounter, you'll be able to navigate because you are in alignment. And part of why something else had to end here is it wasn't aligned with you energetically. I feel like you've been working on yourself, investing in your vibration, doing things that really do clean out that energy field. And so because of that, you're, you get what you are. You get that match. Now, it doesn't mean that we never encounter some problems. So like I said, there might be some little things. I get for somebody, not that you're not going to pass a drug test, but I even get like some kind of testing for a new job. Like I see a diagnostic thing. It seems like a drug thing, normal screening. Okay. But like almost like the paperwork gets delayed or the appointment gets confused, like something like that. Or maybe it's an HR appointment. Either way though, you're able to navigate those things because you're the seven of wands energy. So that four of swords says you did have an ending to something here. 
This is those, it allows you a break. So you may have a bit of a break if it's in between jobs or relationships that helps you get back to center. And so this, again, you've got two windows here, which are unusual in the tarot. You don't see many windows in the cards. This tells you it's like looking right into your soul. That sign behind us, be fearless in the pursuit of what sets your soul on fire. Okay, it's that point of attraction. And this is getting you back on track. And so this is the, you know, four legs of the table, but it's stability, it's order, it's mental order, and it's also to an end of conflict. And so I feel like as you go forward, you're not bringing old bad feelings and baggage with you. The nine of wands says, don't quit five minutes before the miracle happens. This nine is a completion. It's a realization. It's goals accomplished and it felt how it was not easy. All right, this was not easy, but it is worth it. And so I do feel like you're going to begin a new chapter here, whether it's in love or financially, and you've learned a lot along the way. And so with this two of pentacles, new doors open, this is your ships coming in. There are very few infinity symbols. I think there's only three other cards that feature this and not at nearly to this scale. This is big. All right. It's saying that you're going to have a new chapter, but it brings in this lively kind of energy where you're going to have more choices in terms of work. I do feel like you have some autonomy. Somebody here, I even get like you're able to work from home. And so, hell, if you want to go to the gym at 1030 in the morning, you can because you're going to be doing it on your own schedule. But I also feel like with this in terms of love, too, you have an uplifter who comes in. You may have a second swing with somebody who left, but I don't see you doing that. And they're not telling you to either, okay? So let's see what the angels have to say for Taurus, please. What else does Taurus need to know, please? Messages for Taurus. Get more information. So again, I feel like you're going to get what you need. You're going to see something here that needs to be seen. You have romance coming in. Now, I, I don't get this card off and I haven't seen it, I swear, in months. Somebody, you're going to have somebody new and they really are going to be a six of wands energy around you. You've got success, especially I get with work, that chariot energy within the next few months. Okay. So if you feel like you're hanging on by your fingernails, things are going to shift because you've got a yes. You create your own reality, Taurus. You can have do or be anything. I love you and I'll be back again soon.